Welcome to a new edition of Inside Lee University Basketball. I'm Jeff Salyer filling in for Randy Smith. This week we're going to take a, take a look at a couple of great games with the Lady Flames and Flames. We're also going to take a look at Lee University's first NAI National Championship with the Lady Flames soccer team as they went down to Daytona Beach and took home the championship. All that and much more coming up. Hi, welcome again to another edition of Inside Lee University Basketball. Joining me right now is Coach Marty Rowe of the Lady Flames. Coach Rowe, Flame, Lady Flames have started out well, 13-3, and three, pretty good start to the season. Well, we're real excited about uh, the season so far. You know, we've had some, uh, had some good wins, and, uh, and we're growing. It was a young basketball team to start out with, and uh, every day and every game we seem to get a little bit better, so that's, uh, that's been a good sign. So looking forward to the remainder of the year, and we'll see how good we can get. We're going to look at a couple of games today. First is the Masters College. You played the Masters in Los Angeles over Thanksgiving. Yeah, I mean, we had a uh, first uh, uh, Thanksgiving trip we've taken since I've been here at Lee, and we went out there and played, uh, at the time, the number two team, number 16 team in the country, and ended up walking away with a split, losing to Vanguard, but uh, we were able to bounce back the second night and, and beat a really, really good uh, Masters College team. They'll be in the national tournament. Uh, they played a, a, a tough, tough schedule and, you know, uh, showed a lot about us. I think this is where we took a major step of, of, of becoming a really good team. This is where we decided not to turn the basketball over as much. Uh, and this is where we decided to uh, kind of try to do things more along the lines of, uh, uh, of, of the way we want to really play. You can see one of our, our freshmen out, Angela Spann, really making a nice move there. Of course, there's Brooke McKinnon. She had uh, 12 points in this game. but the you know, the, the, the big point of the game was right there. We got the basketball into Katie Nelson, who's having an unbelievable year. And, and uh, she had 30 points and 13 rebounds in this game against two of the better post players in the country and uh, in, in the kids that Masters had. But, uh, you know, it was just a, it was just a, it was a great individual performance there by Katie, but a great team effort by our team to, uh, to come back and actually, uh, uh, win on the road against a really, really good opponent. And I think that's the first time we had able, we were able to do that this year. You know, we had beaten some, some pretty good teams, uh, uh, but we'd been beaten uh, a couple times by some other quality teams, and this was the first time we were able to really step up uh, and step up on the road and beat somebody uh, that's a very capable opponent. So. Uh, again, it was a great performance. We had a one, great, great trip. I mean, you were on the trip. Uh, uh, we had a blast uh, out there. The, the girls uh, uh, not only had a good time, you know, playing basketball, but were also uh, being able to uh, enjoy California. Well, next, next week, we're going to take a look at that trip a little right. more in depth and uh, talk about or and just show some clips of the of the trip and the fun time that the girls had while they were out there. Well, you know, uh, you know, the the thing that we want to do is be able to um, both uh, enjoy the trip. Dr. Conton was before we left, enjoy the trip, but also enjoy the basketball. And, and as long as we do that, and uh, you know, keep things in perspective, then we're going to be just fine. But that was a great, uh, great win for us. I was really proud of the team how they stepped up uh, in this game. Lady Flames beat the Masters College 68-65 at the time. The Masters were number 16 in the country. Uh, the Flames were led by Katie Nelson with 30 points and 13 rebounds. Coach, had a tough uh, opening schedule for your season this year, mm -hmm. pre-conference schedule, and one of the teams that you played was the number one team in the country, Union University, and they came to Walker Arena, and you gave them a pretty good upset. You beat them pretty good. Well, it was a, it was a great win for us. I know we're going to watch clips of it uh, very shortly, but... Uh, you know our, our pre-conference schedule it needs to be tough. It needs to we need to expose ourselves to some of the styles of play that we're going to see at the national tournament. And uh, by, by by being able to play Union and and uh, you get to see the best team in the country. I mean they're the best team in the country. Uh, we were just able to play very well on the, on this night and and able to get it. 
Yeah, you see, Owino, as we were talking, that's the defending player of the year. You know, she's six foot three. She's a really tough player to play against. But you know, what makes them so good, it, like I said, is, is everybody else. And see, we decided, you know, this is a game. A lot of people, you know, how do you play against them? Are you do you attack them? What do you do? We decided we needed to attack them. That's the type of team that we are. And, and uh, so we went right after them, both on the defensive end and the offensive end. We tried to pull Katie away from the bucket and to try to pull uh, Owino away, and that was able to give us, a, you know, uh, that was really able to give us a, a nice spread of the, of the defense. And then we were able to slash and do some things, but, you know, the biggest thing is, is every time we had an opportunity to attack and finish, we did. And uh, that's what we wanted to do. You can see, um, I believe that is their little point guard. Um, um, not going to shot down right there, but, you know, uh, to, to play against Union, you have to play your very best. Now, if one Brett knocking down a three, that was a big play because that was off kind of a tip right there. Uh, but you see us getting on the floor, winning loose balls, winning long rebounds. We won all the hustle points in this in this game, and and that's the that's the that's the difference in being a good team and being a, and being able to beat a good team and being able to beat a great team is you have to win all those hustle points and you have to do all the things right. You see Brooke making a nice decision, kicking it over to Angela Spann, who's who's quickly become one of the better freshmen in the country, and there she is again, knocking down a shot. But, you know, us, to be able to beat Union, we knew we had to play really well and then uh, and execute the things that we wanted to work on, and, and we were able to do that. I've heard you say many times you have to value possessions, and it seems like in this game that the girls really valued each possession, wanting to score and make defensive stops on the defensive end as well. Right, I mean, you know, each possession is so important through the course of the game. Everybody looks at the last two or three minutes of a game, you know, miss free throws here, miss free throws there, turn over here, turn over there, but what happens the other 37 minutes is just as important. And early in the year, we did not value the basketball. I see Owino making a strong, strong move, <laughs> but, you know, we didn't, value, we didn't value the basketball. We were turning over careless. We were making careless decisions, and, and uh, you know, we uh, as a team, as long as we uh, take care of the basketball, do the things that we work on, see Katie making just a great catch right there, uh, then we have a chance to be really, really good. Lady Flames upset the number one team in the country, 88-72 to at Walker Arena, led by Brooke McKinnon with 20 points and two rebounds. Big, big game for your team coach, big win for the university, um, great starting point to the conference season getting ready for the postseason, which is what every coach wants to get ready for. That's what the season's all about. Well, I mean, it gave us a great deal of confidence that the things that we work on actually work. You know, I tell you, you know, when you have a new team and you have a lot of new players, it, it takes a while for, uh, for you to get that to where, hey, the things that we do, if we do them well, um, we have a chance to be really good. I think these two games in particular this semester or the first half of the year, gave us that confidence that, hey, the things that we work on is really good, and if we can continue to do that and get better, then, uh, then we have a chance to be a really good basketball team. Well, thanks, Coach Rowe. I appreciate it. Uh, come back with two games next week at Barry and versus Shorter, and we'll also take a look at that L.A. trip next week on next week's show. Appreciate you being here, and when we come back, we'll talk to uh, men's coach Tommy Brown. We'll be back in just a moment. Earl's Restaurant, featuring good country cooking in the heart of downtown Cleveland. We serve a variety of plate lunches cooked just the way you like them, or enjoy simply the best hamburger in town. We're open for breakfast and lunch Monday through Friday, or stop in on a Saturday morning and have a good hearty country breakfast. Got a special event coming up? Why not let Earl's do the work and cater it for you? Earl's Restaurant, where friends meet. In the fall of 1964, Mullinax Lincoln Mercury opened a showroom right here in Cleveland. Three generations of Mullinaxes have been serving you for over 40 years at the same location. For the past 20 years, Mullinax has been awarded the prestigious Lincoln Mercury President's and Chairman's Award seven times for excellence in customer service. Come visit us at 551st Street to see our new product line of Lincolns and Mercury's and give us the opportunity to serve you. <laughs> 